Hi everyone, this is Cassie and these are the weekly tarot horoscopes for the week of uh, October 14 to October 20. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, in this channel we we'll make tarot predictions. Every Saturday we have the predictions for next week, weekly predictions and every day the card of the day. You can find the link on the upper right corner of this video but also in the description. In the description you will also find other useful links like the link to my website www.kasikai.com. There you will find me for a personal tarot reading and those of you who know me from other platforms you will notice that on my website my rates are considerably low, half a price from other platforms so if you want to reach me there you can check it out. You will also receive three free minutes with your subscription for the live chat because there are two ways to contact me. One is through live chat or if you prefer an email reading you will find various options in my eShop. The latest one is the autumn predictions for 2024. You can make a custom reading to check the energies around your love life or your professional life if that's what you prefer. You can also check out my autumn love predictions video here on YouTube. The link is on the right uh, corner of this video also in the description as well. In the description you will find the links to my social media, Facebook, X, if you want to connect there too. But let's get on with the predictions for next week. For Aries we had the Ace of Cups and now the King of Pentacles. Last week the Ace of Cups must have opened up new possibilities for you because all Aces indicate new beginnings, fresh energy coming into your life. So whether in love, friendships or personal growth, the Ace of Cups probably symbolized the time of emotional abundance where your heart was open to new beginnings and positive feelings. This day the King of Pentacles brings the focus to more practical matters, work, finances, material success, all those things take a center stage. The King of Pentacles represents strength, reliability, grounded energy as all pentacles and ensures that you can achieve success through steady effort and persistence. In your professional life it suggests that this week will bring a sense of stability and uh, success. A project or a goal that you've been working toward may come to fruition because uh, kings also indicate the final stages of something and that will bring financial financial rewards most likely or a sense of security, more security in your work. If there's someone in your work environment who embodies the qualities of the King of Pentacles and this person could be an earth sign or an earth ascendant, a Virgo, a Capricorn or a Taurus, this person may play a key role in supporting your success and offering guidance on how to achieve your goals, financial or professional. If you're wondering how someone feels about you, the King of Pentacles shows that they have strong, stable feelings and they are grounded in their connection to you, all those elements that pentacles represent. However, they may be moving more slowly, another element of pentacles than you would like when it comes to taking the relationship to the next level. This person values security, values long-term stability, so they may not rush into things, they want to be sure of their uh, decisions, of their actions. Even if their feelings are deep, they uh, want to move at a more slow at a slower pace patience will be key in allowing this connection to grow at its own pace don't try to force it don't try to speed things up forcefully because that will uh, backfire most likely strong days are from friday to sunday for Taurus we had the Five of Pentacles and now the Queen of Wands. Last week may have been emotionally challenging for many of you because the Five of Cups suggests that you experienced a disappointment or a loss. Maybe you have been focused on what didn't work out or you felt a sense of regret over something or sadness. 
However, this card also reminds you that not all is lost. There are still positive aspects of your situation that you can build upon, even if it didn't feel that way at the time. And that's what the Queen of Wands uh, shows, shows us this week. Because this week you are stepping into your power with the energy of the Queen of Wands. Things are getting busier, both at work, in your personal life, socially too. And you will feel a renewed sense of confidence and strength. Because the Queen of Wands is all about charisma, leadership, passion, about the, the things that make you feel passionate about. So this uh, week brings a major achievement or an opportunity that will allow you to shine. In your professional life, the Queen of Wands shows a time of recognition and success. So you will feel more confident, your work will be acknowledged, your reputation will improve, a major achievement is on the horizon and this will boost your visibility and also your influence. Also, the support of someone in authority, most likely a strong and dynamic female figure, will play a key role in your progress this week. And this person will offer guidance and also encouragement as you move forward. If you want to know how someone feels, the Queen of Wands indicates that they feel deeply connected to you and they feel strong attraction and admiration. This person sees you as confident, they feel that you have a magnetic energy, a magnetic aura, and their interest will be shown clearly through their actions this week, because that's the way of wands. Wands are cards of action, so their preferred way of uh, showing how they feel, what they want, is by taking action. So expect this person to take initiative and make moves to show their feelings for you in a way that leaves no doubt about their intentions. Strong days are from Friday to Sunday. For Gemini we had the Queen of Wands and now it's the Hanged Man. Last week you must have been um, last week must have been fast, busy under the energy of the Queen of Wands, so you probably had a lot on your plate. But this week things may slow down as the energy of the Hanged Man takes over and that's a passive and slow card. So there could be a pause or a breakdown in communication. But this isn't necessarily negative because it's a chance to step back and reassess a situation, especially if you need to think about your next steps. If you feel that something isn't moving the way you want it to move or that there are elements that um, you don't like. So uh, the combination of the Queen of Wands and the Hanged men suggest that while you possess a lot of passion, a lot of drive, a lot of energy, the universe is asking you to slow down and take a new perspective on things. At work there may be a temporary disruption or a delay. A project or a plan could be stalled, but this pause will give you time to consider a different approach or open your mind to new ideas. So though it may feel frustrating, this period of reflection will be very beneficial for you. You may come up with a creative solution or a fresh perspective that can move things forward in a stronger way once the delay ends. In love, the hanged man suggests that someone feels a bit uncertain or suspending the, their emotions. While there are feelings there, this person may be holding back or they may be unsure of what their next, the next move should be. So they might be quietly reflecting, unsure how to proceed, and this could lead to some distance or some hesitation on both ends, but it's important to be patient with them as they work through their own thoughts and their own feelings. So this is a week about taking a step back and seeing things from a different angle. While there may be delays or lack of clarity, this pause will give you the time and, and space to find new insights, both in work and relationships. Be patient and trust that this slowdown is setting the stage for forward progress soon. Strong day seems to be Friday. For Cancer, we had the Ten of Pentacles and now the Eight of Pentacles. The energy of stability and growth from last week continues into this one, as we have two strong Earth cards, the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, that suggest a focus on security, 
on work, on long-term goals. So this week is all about learning, improving, perfecting your skills. That's the energy of the Eight of Pentacles. And yes, it may feel slow, but it's a productive week where you are building a strong and solid foundation for your future. At work, things may not move quickly, but that's because you're in a phase of learning and refining a routine, maybe. You might find yourself either learning from someone more experienced, or you will step into the role of a teacher and you will help others who are less experienced than you. Either way, it's a week for focusing on details, on progress, steady progress, rather than rushing ahead. Slow but meaningful development is the key theme here. In love, if you want to know how someone feels, their feelings are growing steadily but slowly. The person you're interested in may be too focused on uh, practical matters or material practical concerns to fully invest in their relationship at the moment. Their feelings are there, but their attention might be pulled towards work or other responsibilities, or if they are dealing with financial issues, they may need to put some energy there in this area. So this is probably temporary and with patience, uh, their focus will uh, shift back towards you. Just know that right now their priority may be building stability in their own life. So this week is about consistency, patience and uh, building toward long-term goals. In both work and love, the energy may feel slow, but it's grounded and it's productive and it's setting the stage for future success. So trust in the process and allow things to develop naturally. Strong day for this week is Sunday. For Leo, we had the Five of Wands and now it's the star. Last week may have felt chaotic for some of you, a lot of effort or a lot of challenges because the Five of Wands shows competition, conflict into your life. You may have been juggling multiple priorities or dealing with tensions, but now the star says that there is light at the end of the tunnel. The efforts you've put in are beginning to show you a new way forward and hope and faith is being renewed. This week is about finding your faith again and believing in the future as solutions start to emerge. In your career, the star, the star brings good news. There may be insights or ideas coming from afar because the star is associated with uh, foreign countries, with distance, so possibly involving something or someone from overseas. A new idea or an intuitive breakthrough could present the solution to a problem you've been struggling with. So the energy of the star encourages you to remain open to inspiration and trust that clarity will come when you need it most. If you are wondering how someone feels, this person feels very connected to you on a deep, perhaps karmic level because the star is one of the karmic cards. However, there might be some distance between you, whether that's emotional or physical. So for some of you, this could indicate a long distance relationship and this week will bring developments in that area. While there may still be some space between you, there's also a sense of hope and faith that things are moving in the right direction. Now, for some of you, uh, there might be a challenge with someone you are interested in because the intensity of karmic relationships at times can be intimidating. So depending on the maturity of the person you are interested in and the level of their uh, spiritual evolution, they may come towards you uh, wanting to open up to the relationship or they may take distance and uh, become uh, scared and reserved. So this week offers you a sense of renewal and hope after a period of struggle or tension. Both in work and love, solutions are uh, coming. And the energy of the star reminds you to stay optimistic and trust that the universe is guiding you towards a brighter future. Strong day is Saturday. For Virgo, we, have, uh, we had the Queen of Pentacles and now the Lovers. Last week your focus and attention was likely on practical matters like work or financial matters or even property matters, but this week the lovers brings you to a point of decision making, particularly in your relationships. With the lover's card you may find yourself at a crossroads, seeing two distinct paths between you, each with its own pros and cons. 
So this week might feel like a time of reflection and consideration as you weigh your options basically, especially in terms of relationships, both romantic and professional. At work, a, de- a decision may need to be made and it could feel like something is outside of your control because the lovers is a major arcana card and it represents, major arcana cards often represents, represent energies and forces outside our control. The Queen of Pentacles reminds you to stay grounded and practical because that's, uh, that will be, in that way it will be easier for you to deal with this energy. So there may also be an unexpected opportunity that will present itself and will offer you options that weren't available before. Trust in your ability to make the right choice and know that your decision will produce positive results, especially if you're planning for the long term. If you want to know how someone feels, this person has feels a deep and intense connection to you. They think of you in a romantic way and may feel a strong karmic bond. This is a card of passion, emotional intensity, which means that depending on their character and the situation and the level of their spiritual evolution, this person will either going to will either uh, try to pursue the relationship actively or may feel overwhelmed by the depth of their feelings and they may take distance. Whether they move toward you or hold back depends on how they handle the intensity of this energy, of this connection, but the bond is undeniable. Strong days are Tuesday and Saturday. For Libra, we had the Page of Swords and now it's the Ace of Cups. This week the energy shifts into a more mellow and gentle space, because the energy of the Page of Swords you had last week might have brought arguments or tension in your life. Now things are smoothing out. The Ace of Cups brings the promise of a new beginning as all aces that will uplift you and fill you with positive feelings. This card often shows messages or good news, so expect something that brightens your spirits and opens the door to new opportunities. At work, you may encounter something new and exciting that makes you feel good about where you stand in your career. This could be a promotion or a new project or an opportunity that reinvigorates your sense of purpose and satisfaction because cups ultimately have to do with how we feel. So it's a week of positive developments and emotional fulfillment in your professional life and that will bring a sense of freshness and optimism. Now in love, the Ace of Cups indicates that the person you are interested in feels connected to you and has romantic feelings for you. There is attraction and if this is a new relationship, they are eager to get to know you better. Their emotions are positive and they are looking forward to building something meaningful. The Page of Swords may suggest that they've been curious about you for a while and now they are ready to move things forward. If you had an argument with your partner or the person you are interested in, in this ace gives the message that things will get better this week and there will be reconciliation most likely. So this week brings good news about love and the chance to start fresh, whether in work or love. This gentle energy allows for positive developments and the potential for exciting new opportunities that make you feel more connected and more fulfilled. Strong days are from Monday to Wednesday. For Scorpio, we had the Strength and now the Four of Cups. Last week, the energy of the Strength card may have helped you tap into your inner resilience and your patience as you handled challenges with grace but also with determination. You probably relied on your inner strength to overcome an obstacle or to maintain your composure, especially when situations required calm and controlled responses. Maybe you had to deal with a temptation or something that you had that made you want to control yourself and your reactions. This week, however, the Four of Cups brings a sense of stagnation or boredom. So you may feel that things are slowing down or there are delays or a lack of excitement and that could leave you feeling frustrated or disconnected. 
While this pause may not be ideal, it's an opportunity for you to reflect on where you are and what you truly want. In your professional life, the combination of the strength and the four of cups suggests that you might experience a delay or a lull in activity. This could leave you feeling restless or uninterested in your work. While you may feel bored or frustrated with uh, this slow pace or with the delays, the strength card advises you to stay patient and keep your focus. This downtime could give you the chance to reassess your goals and come back with renewed energy, especially once the pace picks up again. In love, the Four of Cups indicates that someone feels like the spark in your relationship may have faded a bit, especially if this is a long-term partnership. There may be a sense of emotional disconnection or boredom, and this person could feel that the relationship needs a bit of excitement or change to reignite the passion. So, if there's a feeling of stagnation, it could be on your end too. Consider finding ways to spice things up a bit and bring back the excitement. On the other hand, it might also reflect a period where both of you need to address any underlying discomforts that cause this kind of energy. Strong days for this week are Monday and Thursday. For Sagittarius, we had the Page of Wands and now the Three of Wands. This week is filled with high energy and excitement, as both the Page of Wands and the Three of Wands are fire cards, and fire cards represent action, exploration, expansion. The Page of Wands brings enthusiasm and a sense of adventure, while the Three of Wands shows the opportunity to see the results of your past efforts coming to fruition. So it's a week of movement, where planning or even traveling might be involved, and you could have um, interesting interactions with people from foreign countries or different cultures. In your professional life, this combination points to growth and progress. The efforts you've made in the previous weeks will begin to bear fruit now, and you could see significant expansion in your work, whether through new opportunities on the internet, for instance, or international collaborations, or the broadening of your current projects in some way. This is a good time to embrace new horizons and keep your momentum going as things will continue to develop. If you want to know how someone feels, they feel very attracted to you and they enjoy spending time with you. There's an exciting energy between you two and for some, this could involve a long-distance relationship that requires attention this week. The Three of Wands suggests that both of you are looking forward to the future. They are, you are looking toward the future with optimism, but you will need to focus on maintaining the connection, especially if distance is involved. Strong days are Wednesday and Sunday. For Capricorn, we had the Three of Wands and now the Two of Wands. This week brings a moment of reflections, a reflection and decision-making, as both the Three of Wands and the Two of Wands signal a time where you're looking at your future and you're considering your next steps. The Two of Wands represents a pause where you may have felt unsure about someone or something. Maybe you will be presented with two different options or paths and you will have to decide which direction to take. Whether it's your personal life or at work, this week calls for planning. In your professional life, there will be a decision to be made. Someone may present you with two distinct options or opportunities and you need to weigh them carefully. The Two of Wands indicates that you might feel uncertain by the Three of Wands assures that whatever choice you make could lead to expansion and growth. You may also be preparing for a journey or a new venture. The Two of Wands at times is associated with traveling. So trust that this decision is part of your long-term progress. If you want to know how someone feels, this person feels attracted to you, but they may, they may be indecisive about their relationship, and that could lead to a bit of cold or on and off uh, energy. The Two of Wands shows that they are considering the possibilities, but they haven't fully made up their mind yet. So it's a week where things may feel in limbo, but the Three of Wands shows that there is potential for their relationship to grow if they can overcome their indecision. 
So this week is about making decisions, looking ahead, whether in work or love, there may be a moment of uncertainty, but this pause is important in preparing for the next phase. So stay patient, consider your options carefully, knowing that what you choose now can lead to future opportunities and expansion. Strong days are Tuesday and Wednesday. For Aquarius, we had the Magician and now the Ace of Wands. This week is filled with high energy and the promise of new beginnings, as both the Magician and the Ace of Wands indicate a time of action and opportunity. The Ace of Wands is the initiation of something exciting, the initiation of action, because wands are action. So whether it's a new project, a new idea, or an opportunity that comes your way, it's time to take the first step. The Magician last week must have brought focus and the ability to manifest your desires, so this week you'll have the power to make things happen. Be ready to grab any opportunity quickly, as it may not be available for too long. In your professional life, the combination of the Magician and the Ace of Wands suggests that you are stepping into a period of great potential and excitement. There may be an offer or an opportunity that fills you with enthusiasm, so it's the perfect week to take action as your ideas have the chance to come to life. Don't hesitate, move forward boldly, and you will be able to create something new and something meaningful. If you want to know how someone feels about you, if this is a new relationship, they see the potential for something more and are excited by the connection. The energy is passionate, promising, but even if you are in an existing relationship, this week could bring a new spark between you, as both of you may feel motivated to deepen your bond and or to take things to the next level. So this week offers you the chance to step into your power and embrace new beginnings. Whether in work or love, you will feel energized and ready to take action. Strong days are from Monday to Wednesday. For Pisces, we had the Five of Pentacles and now the Eight of Wands. Last week may have felt challenging with the energy of the Five of Pentacles, because the Five of Pentacles can bring feelings of lack or setbacks, whether financially or emotionally, so you might have experienced difficulties that left you feel disconnected or struggling to, fi to find solutions. However, this week the vibe shifts dramatically with the Ace of Wands, because the Ace of Wands is fast and unexpected developments that are on the way, and uh, those developments will bring positive surprises and momentum. In your professional life, it shows rapid progress. A goal you've been working toward may be achieved sooner than expected, or there could be good news about uh, the advancement of a project or an idea. So things are finally moving forward, especially after a period of feeling stuck or slow. Be prepared to act quickly, as opportunities may come rushing in and the pace of your work could pick up significantly. If you want to know how someone feels, this person feels attracted to you and there's a strong element of sexual desire. The Ace of Wands also suggests discussions around travel, either planning a trip with your partner or traveling to meet someone if you're in a long distance relationship or someone will visit you unexpectedly. The energy is passionate, is fast moving and you will find that things develop quickly in your relationships this week. So this week brings a shift in energy with fast-paced developments and exciting opportunities ahead. Whether in love or work, the Eight of Wands propels you forward, helping you achieve your goals and reigniting passion in your relationships. Stay, stay ready to embrace the changes and the opportunities that will surely come your way. Strong day is Wednesday. So these were the weekly tarot horoscopes for, on, for all signs for the week of October the 14th to October 20. I hope you enjoyed them and I will see you again next week. Have a great week.